everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Millie and today I am going to get my hair cut. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I just wanted to film a quick before video so that you can see what I'm going with. I will also insert pictures here of the inspiration pictures that I found on Pinterest. So this is the picture of the colour that I want. I want it really light, really blonde. I want it up to my roots this time. Hopefully, I don't know, we'll wait and see. Obviously I'm going to see what my hairdresser says. And this is the picture of the style that I want. So it's quite different to what I have now. I don't know how well you'll be able to see but I do have these shorter bits at the front from what used to be a fringe but I'm wanting those sort of cutting back in a little bit I want to try and keep as much of the length as possible so my hair is really long so I want to try and keep as much of that as I can but obviously I do need like the raggy ends cutting off but it's mostly the colour that I'm looking forward to this is my natural colour at the top but I definitely want all of this fading into a lighter colour I just think it suits me more having lighter hair um, so I will take you with me and I will show you what it's like when I get back Are you ready? Like, are you actually ready? I love it! I love it so much! I cannot believe how much she managed to lighten it. It is still my natural colour right at the root and she's faded it into the lightest, iciest blonde. I am absolutely obsessed. We have little fringy bits cut in that I keep already pushing to the side but I love it. I think it suits my face shape more actually having the centre part and having all of these little bits around my face. I, I love it so much. I cannot believe that I have never had a centre parting before. I have always had a side parting. I have always been so aware of the fact that I have quite a large forehead and I also have, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but here, if I do that then you can see, I have this on my forehead that was a birthmark. I got that when I was born. I've always had it and it doesn't hurt I haven't been thumped I always have it and nine times out of ten nobody notices it until I point it out but it's just something that I'm really aware of it's just one of those things that I've always tried to cover up with a fringe or like a side fringe or having my hair parted like right over at this side and swept over I've always had my hair like that but I actually feel like this sort of style probably suits me more because I'm not hiding it, it's who I am. I actually really like that bump on my forehead because, you know, nobody has a bump on their forehead, but I do, and that makes me different, and I like that. The length is pretty much the same. I think she said she only took like an inch off the bottom of my hair, which I'm happy about because I didn't want loads of length taking off but I thought I would just talk you through the whole procedure and like all of the hygiene things that we went through when I got there. So when I very first made the appointment the lady that I went to put up on her Instagram all of the different sort of hygiene things that she was putting in place in her salon. So I will say that I didn't have to wear a mask, but she said that I could wear one if I wanted to. I chose not to just because the one that I have like goes around the back of my head and I thought it would just get in her way. Well, it would just get in her way, but I chose not to. I felt safe enough because she was wearing a visor. Is that what they call it? Like a plastic visor over her face 
so I felt safe and she kept that on for the whole time that I was there. She spent very little time actually in front of me and even when she was cutting in my sort of fringy bits I made a mental note not to talk or sort of breathe violently when she was stood in front of me. She didn't say that that was necessarily something that I had to do but I just did that anyway. There was hand sanitizer um, on the desk as soon as I walked in so I used that and then I was shown to my seat. There were, I'm not sure how many chairs and mirrors there were. I want to say there was like six, so it was quite a lot and there was only two hairdressers there. So I was right on the right hand side and the other hairdresser and his client were right down the other end of the salon, like, I don't even know, like 10 meters away. They were so far away. And I didn't feel like that was an issue, like having somebody else there. I felt like, you know, I was closer to people walking to the salon than I was in the salon. They also had two, sinks but they were only using one at a time so I wasn't like sat next to somebody having my hair washed while there was somebody else just there so that was really good she also said that when I get there to wait outside until I'm told that I can come in which didn't turn out to be a problem because I was running late because I had to walk so that wasn't a problem but other people were waiting outside until it was their time to come in so that there weren't extra people in the salon when they didn't need to be there so that was another thing that they put in place there was also like plastic screens um, around where the till point was so although she had taken off her visor at that point the cat's come to say hello. So although she had taken off her visor at that point, she was behind a screen. So that was just another thing that they had put in place to protect themselves as well as to protect us as clients. But 100% I felt so safe being there. I knew that obviously they'd done everything that they can do to get back open and to start their businesses again and I am more than happy that I managed to get in to get my hair done. I know it's such a silly thing but you just feel better after you've had your hair done and I was well overdue. I was meant to be getting my hair done the like a couple of days after we went into lockdown and I was already desperate to get my hair done so obviously this is like three four months later so I was well overdue I definitely needed it <laughs> but that's all I have to say on the matter let me know if you like my new do I am absolutely obsessed with it so even if you say that you don't like it I love it so that's all that matters if you liked this video then please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already please click the subscribe button down in the bottom corner but until next time thanks for watching